And you can see on your screen a pretty incredible view. This is Dragon looking at the International Space Station, which is where it will be docked for about the next six months. So very exciting. You could tell that we're getting closer and closer as the view there is uh, very visible in, uh, from the Dragon spacecraft. That's right, and the International Space Station is currently flying 268 statute miles over the South Pacific Ocean. But yeah, we'll continue to see the International Space Station come into better and better view. You can see some of the solar arrays and some of the, the modules, but again, I'm looking forward to seeing it come into more detail and us sharing a, a bit more about what you're seeing on your screen. And you can See if you squint uh, between the clouds there, <laughs> that little white dot, that is Dragon with Crew 8 on board. Uh, we'll, again, continue to see this grow larger, but great to see those very first views of Crew 8 and Endeavor. Oh, and there's an even better view. You can see the nose cone is open there. That nose cone did open uh, shortly after launch and it stays open all the way through docking. It exposes that guidance, navigation and control systems. And that's actually where the crew uh, will enter into the International Space Station once we get docked and have the vestibule um, repressurized and all those checkouts go smoothly. And it looks like we got both of those views now looking side by side next to each other, again on your left hand screen, a view from the International Space Station looking at Dragon Endeavor, while the right hand view is a view from Dragon Endeavor looking at the International Space Station. And this is actually a very great view to kind of describe where Dragon is relative to the International Space Station. You can see Earth in the background, so you can see that Dragon is below the space station. Uh, once it reaches waypoint zero, it will be 400 meters below the space station, but moving into waypoint one, it will actually be swinging up and in front of the space station. So you won't be able to see Earth behind it anymore because it'll be in front of the space station. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop. Approach zero is in progress and trajectory has converged on waypoint zero. Arrival at waypoint zero at approximately 1711. And with that, you are good to proceed into 4.011 for leak checks. I can copy, stepping into 4.011, see leak check. And good calls there. They have confirmed that we have made it to waypoint zero and that the crew is good to perform their leak, their suit leak checks um, inside of the cabin there. So as we begin to move closer to waypoint one, which is our next milestone, a couple of things are going to happen. Uh, the sensors on Dragon are going to work to basically get a lock on the docking port that it's targeting. And uh, once they do eventually dock, that uh, soft capture ring will uh, automatically capture uh, the docking port. And then we will uh, work to close those it's latches. Dragon on the big group, ready to pressurize. Dragon SpaceX, you are go to initiate suit leak checks. Happy to go. And there you heard some comms that they are beginning their suit leak checks. Again, they do put their suits on during the dynamic events of docking. So they are doing some suit leak checks to make sure everything is working properly with their suits before they dock to the International Space Station. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop. Approach one and soft capture ring extension will begin shortly. Dragon will continue approach to waypoint two. Dragon copies on the big loop. And as we continue to make our approach from waypoint one to waypoint two and make our final approach, a couple of things uh, will happen that you might hear over. Oh, and here we are getting our very first views inside of the Dragon Endeavor. Uh, the crew there is suited up, as you can see. They're just continuing to monitor um, the screens on board Dragon. This is an automated process, but the crew can uh, take over if needed up to a point uh, uh, right before docking called CHOP. You'll hear that called out and that's the crew hands off period. Um, and from that point on, it is a fully automated docking. And it may be hard to tell what's on your screen, but right now this is a view from Dragon 
looking at the space station as it is making its way to waypoint two. Again, that will align Dragon with the docking adapter on the space station. And, and it looks like we are getting a space <laughs> selfie. <laughs> You gotta capture the moment. That wow, is excellent. Wow, how special. <laughs> Houston and Hawthorne have pulled go for docking. Confirm you are ready for approach two. We are sending the approach allowed flag now. We see the approach allowed flag of true and we're closing by this. Copy, visors closed, and one additional reminder, once Dragon is inside the crew hands-off points, retreat and breakout are not permitted. And copy, four visors closed. And we just heard confirmation that both the NASA and SpaceX teams have pulled go for docking and the crew aboard Station the Dragon on a big Endeavor loop. spacecraft. Dragon is on final approach and is go for docking. Monitor for steps five and six in one decimal one zero two. Dragon approach and retreat monitoring. Station copies monitoring for steps five and six of Dragon approach and retreat monitoring. Meters. Copy, 15 meters. So you did hear that call out that uh, Dragon is now less than 15 meters away from the International Space Station, continuing to close in slowly. We'll hear that call out for CHOP, crew hands off point two meters before contact. Now approaching 10 meters away from the International Space Station. Five meters. Copy, five meters. Should hear the call out for CHOP shortly. Was that call? Standing by for contact and capture. One meter. Copy, one meter. Soft capture confirmed. And contact confirm, Dragon made contact with the International Space Station at 11.28 p.m. Pacific while flying central over the North Atlantic uh, Ocean just east of Newfoundland. And there are still a few steps to complete before Dragon is securely attached to the station. Again, we do have soft capture, but then we will retract that soft capture ring. Then we can start driving in the uh, hard capture hooks. Again, there will be two sets of six hooks each. Once that those hooks... Uh, Ring retraction in progress. There's that call out that the soft capture ring is now being retracted. And then shortly we should hear that the first six hooks will begin to drive in for that hard capture.
And here we are getting live views inside Dragon. You can see that the crew has removed their flight, their suits and are in their blue flight suits awaiting hatch opening. At the top of your screen, you can see NASA astronaut Jeanette Epps. And down toward the bottom of the screen, on the left side, we have NASA astronaut Michael Barrett. And to his right, we have NASA astronaut Matthew Dominic, and we can also see uh, Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Grabenkin. Following a docking earlier this morning at 1.28 a.m. Central to 28 a.m. Eastern Time, we have worked through the hatch opening procedures, including the vestibule pressurization. And now we are standing by for crew eight to come aboard. Copy, hatch open. And now you are seeing a live view inside the Dragon Endeavour spacecraft. You can see the SpaceX suits that the Crew 8 crew members were wearing for the docking operations, as well as for launch on Sunday, March 3rd. And there we can see Crew 8 being joyfully welcomed aboard the International Space Station. First aboard was NASA astronaut Matthew Dominic, followed behind him NASA astronaut Michael Barrett and NASA astronaut Jeanette Epps. And pulling up the end, we have Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Grabenkin. The Crew-8 astronauts now officially a part of Expedition 70 and the other Expedition 70 crew members giving them hugs and handshakes as they make their way onto the International Space Station, which will be their home for the next six months as they conduct important science and research. Excellent. Uh, a big warm welcome to Crew 8 uh, from all of us up here. Uh, wouldn't you know it, after having made fun of Crew 8 for being, or for launching late, they arrive early to the space station and have us uh, scrambling this morning. But it's absolutely fantastic to see their smiling faces. Um, welcome to space, uh, Matt, Jeanette, and uh, Alex, and welcome back to space to uh, Mike. Um, this is uh, also for Crew 7, a, a slightly bittersweet moment because with their arrival, it also starts the countdown to our own uh, departure and return to Earth in uh, about a week's time. But it's great to see Crew 8. Uh, welcome. You guys are going to have a fantastic mission. Uh, I'm sure of it. Um, and we look forward to spending the next week in space with you. And uh, for uh, Laurel, Oleg, and Nikolai, there you are. Uh, a few more weeks, uh, but uh, welcome to you, and I'll pass the mic uh, to you, Matt. Thank you so much. Uh, we are, of course, super excited to be here, and after we saw you uh, call us out yesterday, we phoned a few friends to expedite things to kind of throw you off guard on purpose. <laughs> or so we hope or wished. Anyway, we're so excited to be here. A uh, big thank you to everyone uh, who helped put this together, such a giant team around the world. And uh, we're excited to be on board and ready to take over the watch. Over to you, Mike. Well, first thing, it's just great to be back. There's such a, a sense of familiarity and homeness uh, to the station. And I uh, can't wait to get back to work, but just a big shout out to all the folks who got us up here to NASA. Our friends at uh, SpaceX for building a great little spaceship and a little taste of the flexibility this morning that will be 
expecting over the next six months. I know that our flight's going to go by in a blink of an eye and uh, really anxious to start. Thanks for the very warm welcome from Crew 7. I second everything that um, Matt and Mike has said, and I just want to thank my family as well for being patient with me, and I'm, I made it here. Всем привет с орбиты. Ну что, мы добрались. Полет был достаточно легким, поэтому надеюсь, что и продолжение будет подобным. Всем спасибо и всем передаю большой привет. Thanks a lot, all teams. Well, once again, uh, welcome to the International Space Station. This is uh, an incredible place. Uh, you will have a great time up here just like we did. Uh, we are doing so much exciting science at the moment uh, and we look forward to introducing you to all of it. So once again, welcome Crew 8. All right, uh, thanks Station for all of that. I can tell you on behalf of us that are left here on the planet, we are incredibly proud to be part of this and we're all smiling down here. All right, Station, we are now resuming operational communications.